I'm Pastor Carrie Hublin from Peace Lutheran Church in Beaver Creek, Ohio, and I'm glad that you're here to join us for Godly Play. Let's begin. Look, it's gold. I wonder if this has something as precious as gold inside like a parable because parables they are just as precious as gold you know it has a lid on top which makes me think that there might actually be a parable inside you see parables sometimes have lids on top of them and they are hard to open and hard to get into unless you're ready. And then sometimes they're easy to open. It kind of looks like a gift. And you know, parables, they are gifts. Gifts that were given to you long, long ago. Gifts that you might not even know you have. Gifts that you don't have to go and get or buy or, or take from your siblings. Parables are gifts that you had even before you were born. I wonder if we should open this box and see if there really is a parable inside. what this could be. Maybe the top of a tree? Or maybe a nice field of grass to go run and play in? Hmm. I wonder what's on the other side of it. Just as green as the other side, you know, there are two sides to everything. I wonder what else might be in this box that could help us to get into this parable. Hmm. I wonder if I could see my face in this, kind of like you could in a pond. Maybe it's like the sky that seems to go on forever. I wonder what that is. Let's see if there's anything else. Hmm. Well, they're not nearly as light as the blue one. In fact, there's no light in here at all. It's kind of like holding a shadow in my hand. Sometimes people who sit over there where you're sitting say that it looks kind of like a face. But there is no light in these eyes. And there is no light in this smile. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. That you walk down? Or maybe it's just a line? Maybe to do some cursive writing on? I'm sure that my boys would think it looks like a stick. I wonder what 
it could be. There's another one. Maybe the two of them make a big road for us to go down. There's another one, and another one. Then some more. You know, it looks like it is getting stronger. Kind of looks like it might be a house. It has an inside and an outside. I wonder before we go too far if we might be able to make a gate where we could go in and out. But we're not done building yet. It just keeps getting stronger and stronger as we go. Whatever it is, it's definitely flat, which is not surprising because everything in a parable is flat. Hmm. I know what this is. It's a sheepfold. I wonder how many sheep there might be. This many? This many? Hmm. This many? Hmm. How many could there be? amazing things and such wonderful things that people couldn't help but follow him. And as they followed him, they wondered who he must be. And one day, they asked him, who are you? And he said, I and the Good Shepherd. I know the names of each one of my sheep, and they know my voice. And when I call them from the sheepfold, they follow me. He said, I show them the way to the cool waters. And I show them the way to the nice green grasses. And when I come to a dangerous place, I show them how to go through. And when 
they come into the sheepfold, I count each one of them. One, two, three, four. And when one of my sheep is missing, I go and I look everywhere for them. I look over in the green grasses. I look beside the cool waters. And I go to the dangerous place and when I find my sheep, I put him over my shoulders, even if he is heavy, even if I am tired, even if it is a long way home. And I take the sheep back to the sheepfold. And when all of my sheep are together, I am so happy that I invite my friends and neighbors and family to come over and rejoice with me. Not all shepherds, though, are good shepherds. This is the ordinary shepherd. And when he lets his sheep out of the sheepfold, he does not call them to follow. He allows them to be scattered. And when the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd will stand between the wolf and his sheep. And the good shepherd will lie down his life so that the sheep can be safe. green grasses. And I wonder if we have ever touched nice, cool, still waters. And I wonder if we have ever been in dangerous places. And how we might have gotten through them. And if there might have been a good shepherd who helped to come and be with us. I wonder if we've ever been like this little sheep who got lost. I wonder if we have ever been found. I wonder if we have a sheep pen, a sheep fold, where we feel safe. I wonder if we have a good shepherd who knows our name. I wonder where this could really
really be. This is the Good Shepherd. And these are his sheep. And this is their sheepfold. And the cool, still waters. And the dark and dangerous place. And the nice green grasses. Thanks for joining us today for one of our Godly Play parables, and we hope to see you again soon.